Hey everybody, thanks for much for tuning in to check out my Bald Faced Hornet Nest relocation update video. So this is actually a video you guys have already seen of this nest. This is just to kind of recap what it looked like um, right at the end of the last video. That's the queen there at the top of the nest, and the rest of the workers are actually from the nest on the left. And so this is now, um, as of yesterday, how this nest looks. So look at all that extra paper on there. I mean, they were super, super busy. And look at all the workers. Those are all workers from the other nest. All right, so some updates is the uh, the nest has paper on it now, which is freaking awesome. Look at all that paper envelope up there. And they got paper envelope down here. This literally just happened within the last probably 10 hours. The queen's still in here, which is awesome. I can't tell you where she's at right now because there's a lot of activity. <laughs> And she emerges here in the center, so that's the center of this shot. There's the white, huge, broad shoulders she has, white, broad Good. shoulders. So that's her there in the top. She's adopted these workers, and the workers adopted her. No issues at all. And they've been tending to her larva, which is wild, because all the workers here are from another family of bald-faced hornets. Both nests are still getting activity, which is awesome. So even though the workers are primarily at this nest right here, there actually are a lot of workers inside of the other nest to the left. So it's not like they abandoned that one and went to this one. Um, plus there's a lot of capped cells in there, so you, eventually those are going to hatch and there are going to be all these workers, just an abundance of workers on these two nests. Look at all that paper. Holy cow. And they were really busy, so this was just, I mean, it came out at like 9 o'clock in the morning and all that paper had pretty much just been laid and it wasn't there the night before. So they they got up mighty early, probably the butt crack of dawn, and started laying that paper. But, I mean, you see all the workers. I mean, there are a lot of workers there, so what you're seeing worker-wise on the nest, there's probably about just as many of those out foraging. So I decided to speed it up a little bit, just give it like a time lapse of the activity of this nest. Um, even the, I mean, even the queen being here, I mean, she goes around from cell to cell, I and mean, she's all over that nest too. And uh, I mean, it's almost like just like she hadn't skipped a beat. She went right into, um, after being relocated, right into having all these new workers that aren't her daughters and building on nest tending to larva. Um, they did remove a couple of the um, couple of the uh, partial partially developed adults out of some of the cells, but that's pretty normal anyway. I've seen I've seen bald faced hornets carrying out what look like adults out of nests or out of cells and carrying them away from the nest. But look at that bottom comb. There is a ton of large larvae in there, and, and when I initially had relocated this nest, there was only one white-capped cell, and it was like dead center in that in that comb. Well, now there's like like count three, I think, on that on that comb. So there's at least three newly capped larva cells, um, and then let me some of those larvae are super big. They got to be starting to weave new caps here shortly. If you look at the top center of the comb. There's a little black hole kind of cut out of one of those, so that there's going to be an adult coming out of there. You can kind of see it moving inside, so it's actually chewing its way out. I don't quite understand why they're building the way they are, as far as like the paper down on the lower comb there. Um, yeah, they. So this is actually the second half of the day. So that 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 last video was towards the end of the day. Yes, or the two days ago, and then this was this morning. So they laid a lot of paper yesterday. But anyhow, I'm not sure why they're building like a conical shape on that um, center lower comb, but it kind of do did something goofy like that on the the nest to the left. So there's the queen there in the top or kind of the center of the screen right now. You can always tell her because she has a little bit of like a yellowish color to her white. So the the uh, workers have like a really bright white. Um, 
and she kind of has like the uh, smoker's teeth, <laughs> like a yellow tint to her uh, to her white. But I've kind of noticed that with most queens, kind of have that yellowish tint to their uh, to their white striping. So maybe it's just a maturity thing. They become yellow-faced hornets. <laughs> So as much as I like doing sped up and time lapse and show a lot of the activity at a, at a faster pace when it comes to long shots, um, I did want to do a lot of, or not a lot of, I should say that I did want to do um, several of the shots to be in regular speed. So you can see how the activity goes. Like this one here on the left nest is going to like cross over the uh, cross over the straight here. <laughs> Yeah, it's interesting to go just from one nest to the other. But anyhow, I wanted to get like give a feel of the the, the natural busyness inside of there. I mean, just look at that bottom comb. I mean, there's a lot of adults in there just tend, tending to those brood and laying paper and I mean, just and some of these workers you see come back flying back and they like this one here on the right-hand side just flew back. And it'll go up to one of the other adults and swap the food out that they're bringing back for the larva. And pretty much just then go get something to eat from the larva. And then they, they take right back off and go back out. So it's quite a system they have here. And you'll see sometimes when they need to pee... Um, they dangle their bottoms, like this one here in the top center. Dangles their bottoms until they they drip out a little bit of fluid, and then and then they uh, and they go back to walking around normally on the nest. Which makes kind of draws a question as to how that goes when they're in actually got the paper on the nest and it's a like conical shape, and they do that. And it just kind of I guess gets absorbed by the paper. You can see down at the bottom comb, there's two adults working on laying paper at the exact same time, pretty much in the same space, which is pretty cool. They're almost like working around in circles. And at one point here, in the when I was watching to go through some of these, uh, I had like four hours of video to look over from one day, and um, and. There, I think I counted like four or five individuals working on laying paper at the exact same time at different parts of the nest. So it's really no wonder this thing made as much progress as it did laying the paper. Because, I mean, really, if you do the math, this has really only been about 24 hours between the last portion of the video that you saw that started to get kind of dim looking to now. I mean, this is like 10 o'clock this morning so when I came out and saw those saw all that paper laid I was like I, you know I just was really excited to get the uh, to get the um, video together so that way you guys could see the progress already and see how successful this is being there's not gonna be any spiders bothering this nets folks just so you know <laughs> And something just to just kind of take him notice to too is, um, people often comment in, in on my videos and say about you know why protect these things? They're so aggressive and this and that, and you know they're they're a holes and whatnot. It's like listen, you know what? I've watched four bald faced hornets nests start from zero this season, and one of them is actually succeeding. And it just goes to show you that's why they're so aggressive protecting their nest because. Evolution has taught them that they are they are up against it to have a successful nest. So they need to be aggressive to protect what they're trying to do, trying to build. So I don't really blame them for that. And I think a lot of people need to look at it that way, that these things need to be, cons you know, they need to be aggressive to protect and to, and to continue on being being these insects that do what they have to do.
So I wanted to get a couple good close-up shots of them laying some paper. Even though I still can't figure out how they're going to connect all this together, especially when um, once the actual main structure is is uh, all one uniform piece, like I don't know if you're going to make tunnels in there or what. I mean, definitely be an interesting nest to scope once it's all once it's all papered over, which I do plan to do. Wink, wink. Some more busyness. This one here in the center, I just wanted to get her laying some of that paper, which is really interesting. Lots can happen in a day, that's for sure. And holy cow, look at all that paper. This was the end of the day today. They go around the back. So an angle of this, uh, the structure that I built that you don't often see is around this side of it. I think the last time I got an angle like this was on the spout nest. Alright guys, thanks so much for tuning in to check out this update video. If you guys haven't subscribed already, please consider doing so. If you guys are returning subscribers, thanks so much for supporting my channel, and I'll catch you guys on the next one.